What's up YouTube, hey, c 494 here. This is probably the fifth take that I've done of this, so I'm getting, you know, really tired. I took some NyQuil earlier because I'm kind of congested and such. But I'm going to try to fight through this. Alright, I took a whole bunch of clips uh, from the testing that I did this weekend. And I tried to put them all together and make a video out of it that wasn't just the most boring thing I've ever seen. And, and for me to say that my own videos are boring is, is bad. So I decided that instead I'm going to just sit here and tell you the results of my testing this weekend. And you're going to wait till the end of the video. If you decide that you want to actually watch the test being conducted, you can wait until the end of this and then you can actually watch me, you know, nerd out on some, uh, velocity testing. All right. So the test, the test, the test was... Um, what we've all heard over, you know, like if you've ever shot a precision rifle match or you've ever been in any of the forums or anything like that, you've heard people say that gas guns give you worse standard deviations and worse velocities than bolt guns. We've all heard that. And I've told people uh, whenever they've, they've messaged me that or they've texted me that or uh, whatever form of social media they wanted to contact me on and tell me that the reason that I had bad standard deviations or the reason that my velocity sucked or whatever was because I was running a gas gun and told them that in my experience that was inaccurate. And I never had the hard data to back that up. So I decided, you know, I have the means, why not go out and test this theory? Uh, so I took an 18-inch Remington 700 and I took my 18-inch... 5.56 five, uh, Franken gun, for lack of better, you know, whatever. It, it's a bunch of parts I compiled together. Anyway, fired eight different types of ammunition through them, chronoed the ammo, got the average velocities and the standard deviations, and the results were that the gas gun had better standard deviations in five out of the eight tests, and it had better velocity in seven out of the eight tests. These are the results right here. I wrote them down all nice and big for you guys so y'all can see them. Uh, obviously, there's bolt gun and gas gun. If you have to pause this video or whatever so that you can look at these numbers, you go right chon ahead. Uh, the types of ammunition that I used was True Ballistics 855 Red Army Standard. Um, this, these three right here are IMI 77 grain uh, razor core, but it's three different lots of the same ammo. That's why uh, there's the three digit numbers is that's the lot number. Hornady tap and federal 55 grain that you get from Walmart. So the ones with the check marks next to the standard deviation is the uh, lower standard deviation. And this one here that's circled is the only one that the bolt gun had the higher velocity over the gas gun for. So, <coughs> Now, let's talk about what actually affects your standard deviation and your velocity. So, as somebody who has studied, you know, ballistics, like I, I had to do a little bit of it in college and stuff like that, and uh, I've read all the applied ballistics books and everything, you know, like I've done a whole lot of uh, extra extracurricular uh, learning uh, and stuff like that. I, I uh, It's what I'm passionate about. So I take the extra time. I'll put the time, energy, and effort into trying to learn this stuff uh, so that I can speak with some authority whenever somebody asks me a question about it. Um, so, man, I got a little bit off track there. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so <coughs> here's what actually affects your standard deviation, in my opinion, and through the testing that I've done, this is what I've found affects your standard deviation. Your load affects your standard deviation. So the actual ammunition is what's going to affect your, uh, your standard deviation. Uh, having a consistent powder charge, your neck tension, your primers, like it, all of that stuff put together is what's going to affect your standard deviation the most, right? Uh, there are other little things that affect it, you know, within your, you know, like for as far as internal ballistics, what's going on inside of the gun whenever you pull the trigger and, you know, the uh, firing pin hits your primer and the primer ignites and then the, the primer uh, ignites the secondary charge, which is your powder. And, you know, that whole chemical reaction happens inside of your gun. It's very fascinating stuff. Anyway, <coughs> mostly what affects your standard deviation is the actual cartridge. And uh, what's going on with your powder charge, your primer, and all that other stuff. Uh, if you disagree, 
show me your data. If you if you show me your data, I'll I'll be the first one to be like, you right, fam. Um, but in my experience, that's what that's what affects your standard deviation is your is your loading, your charge, your primer, all that other stuff. Now, your velocity. In my experience, what I have found affects velocity the most, as far as not not barrel length uh, concerned, because obviously a 24 inch barrel, if you don't have diminishing return, is going to have a better velocity than a 14 inch barrel. You know, it, it's just it's just the way it works. Um, but if you're comparing apples to apples, 18 inch versus an 18 inch barrel, uh, then if you have say a chrome line barrel versus a non chrome line barrel, if you've got a lapped barrel versus a non lapped barrel, the twist rate of your gun, your um, fouling inside of the gun, all of that stuff is going to affect your velocity, the velocity that you're getting out of the gun. So. <clears throat> the re the reason that I chose the guns that I did is because my Franken gun has a Criterion barrel on it, an 18 inch Criterion, and so it's you know it it's a hand lapped barrel. It's you know it's this, it's that, it's you know it's a match barrel. It's all this other stuff. It's all great. The Remington 700 that I used was a factory Remington 700. I don't know if you guys have ever run an endoscope or a bore scope through, you know, uh, the bores of some of these guns or whatever that come from the factory. They're not always pretty on the inside. You know, there's machine marks and such. Um, and that affects your velocity. It does. So, anyway, results of the test are that your gas gun versus your bolt gun that is not what affects your velocity and standard deviation. What affects it is the quality of your components. Hey C494, out. Hey YouTube, Hey C494 here. And right now I wanted to do a test for myself and for whoever else wanted to be, uh, you know, wanted to watch my channel and such. So I have an 18 inch barrel on my three gun rifle. There's also an 18 inch barrel on this Remington 700 right here. And I keep hearing people say a lot of things about velocity change that you get from a bolt gun to a gas gun. And also your standard deviations being different going from a gas gun to a bolt gun. So today I'm going to shoot multiple different types of ammunition out of both of these guns. I'm going to chrono the ammo, get my velocities and my standard deviations. And you guys are going to be present for that. So really the only things that I care about is the average and the SD. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this little test and I figured you guys might want to be present for it. So the first ammo that I'm going to try is the 69 grain True Ballistics. Uh, if you recall, I shot this out of my 20 inch uh, gas gun that I shoot in precision rifle matches and achieved uh, sub MOA accuracy, uh, but not so great SD. So we're going to run it again today and see what happens out of a bolt gun. We're gonna actually shoot it through the bolt gun first. So, without further ado, the target doesn't really matter. The numbers are what matters. All right, carrying protection in. Seven twenty six. Twenty six ninety seven. Twenty seven thirty two. Seven thirty-two, twenty-seven oh three, five. All right, out of my five shots, my average twenty-seven eighteen, and my standard deviation sixteen. All right. So we're going to write that down. All 
All right, now we're gonna set this up for the gas gun. All right, so I'm about to shoot some 69 grain true ballistics out of my three gun rifle, 18 inch barrel. Seven twenty eight, twenty seven, seventy seven, twenty seven, ninety, twenty seven, ninety two, twenty six, forty six. All right, let's look at those numbers. Uh, all right, my average was twenty seven, forty six. And my standard deviation, 61. Hmm. So I got more velocity out of the gas gun, but my standard deviation was not good. That could have been from one bad round, though. If I'm not mistaken, I had one shot that was uh, not so. My fifth shot was 2646. 2646 was number five. 2792, 2797, 2728. Yeah, so I had one shot out of the group that was that threw that SD way off. But I mean, that's what happens whenever you test stuff. You just you find stuff like that. All right, let's try the uh, 855 ammo next. All right, so right now I'm about to shoot some uh, M855 uh, 62 grain green tips out of it. And lot number 223, I believe. All right. Three, zero, four, two. Zero three zero three zero five zero three zero three nine three zero three five. All right, let's check out these numbers. Average, 30, 39. And standard deviation, seven. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna use the 855 62 grainers out of my gun rifle, just so you know. He's gonna be honest and such. Let's run it. Three zero four nine. Three zero five one. Three zero six zero. Three zero six zero. <clears throat> And if y'all are curious as to what that thumping noise was, that's the target at 400 yards. All right. So my average was 3049. And my SD, oh, I'm going to write past it. And my SD. Oh, I went past it again. There it is. 13. All right, so, so far, out of both of those ammo, both of those types of ammo, my SD has been worse in the gas gun, but my velocity has been better in the gas gun.
out of both those ammos that I tested. All right, so let's try some more ammo. All right, so 56 grain full metal jacket boat tails from Red Army Standard out of the gas gun. <clears throat> See how these do. One seven three three one five eight. I feel like there was a malfunction. There was a malfunction. Three one eight nine three two zero zero. Yeah, I thought that was five. Had a lot of problems with that ammo, but that is that top dollar stuff. All right, so my average was 3181 and my standard deviation was 16. All right, let's run that with the bolt gun. All right, so 56 grain Red Army Standard out of the 700. Thirty one oh eight. Thirty one forty two. Thirty one sixty one. Thirty one sixty nine. Average, 3146, and my standard deviation, 23. All right, so it did not perform as good as the gas gun in either account. It, uh, the velocity was slower, and the standard deviation wasn't as good. All right, so next ammo. All right, so the 77 grain razor cord from IMI, lot number 258 out of the gas gun. Uh, 2863. Six seven two seven six three. All right. My average twenty eight fifty three. And my standard deviation fifty one. Yikes. All right, so I'm going to shoot the IMI uh, with the 77 grain Sierra Match King, uh, lot number 258. That's important because I've got three different lot numbers of the same kind of ammo. 
Um, so I'm gonna shoot those out of both guns and uh, see what happens here. So this is lot number 258. Twenty-eight All right, let's check out these numbers. All right, the average was 2867. And the standard deviation, 21. All right. All right, YouTube, so the results from my test using the 18-inch barrel Remington 700 bolt action versus the 18-inch barrel three-gun Franken rifle. Um, using the true ballistics ammunition out of the bolt gun, I got a velocity of 2718 and a standard deviation of 16. Out of the gas gun, I got 2746 and 61. So I got a really bad standard deviation out of the gas gun, but a really good velocity. Um, my velocity was uh, almost 30 feet per second faster out of the gas gun than out of the bolt gun. Out of the 855, the velocities out of the bolt gun was 30-39. Out of the gas gun, it was 30-49, so 10 feet per second faster average uh, out of the gas gun. Uh, the standard deviations were 7 and 13. So seven out of the bolt gun, 13 out of the gas gun. The Red Army standard ammunition, out of the bolt gun I got a velocity of 3146, average. And out of the gas gun I got a velocity of 3181. So 35 feet per second faster-ish. Uh, the standard deviation out of the bolt gun was 23 and the standard deviation out of the gas gun was 16. Uh, the IMI 77 grain lot 258. Out of the bolt gun, I got an average velocity of 2867, and out of the gas gun, 2853. So a little bit faster out of the bolt gun than out of the gas gun. Uh, standard deviation out of the bolt gun was 21. Standard deviation out of the gas gun was 51, which could be why the numbers were were so you know far off in that way. That why. The bolt gun beat the gas gun, and this one could be because it had one really slow round, and that made my SD insane. Anyway, uh, out of the same type of ammo, but different lot, lot number 271, the bolt gun had an average velocity of 2864. And the gas gun had an average um, velocity of 2900. So 36 feet per second faster average out of the gas gun. Uh, the standard deviation out of the bolt gun was 21. The standard deviation out of the gas gun was 20. So the standard deviation was better out of the gas gun. Out of the same type of ammo, but different lot number, 231, the gas gun had an average velocity of 2,904. The bolt gun had an average velocity of 2,830. So 74 feet per second difference uh, in favor of the gas gun. Standard deviation for the gas gun was 13. Standard deviation for the bolt gun was 18. So the SD was better for the gas gun. And the velocity was better for the gas gun. <coughs> Hornady tap. The gas gun's average velocity was 2752. Bolt gun was 2671. So pretty big step there. The SD out of the gas gun was 14. The SD out of the bolt gun was 17. So gas gun beat the bolt gun again. Uh, the Federal 55 Grainers, uh, gas gun had an average velocity of 3127. The bolt gun had an average velocity of 3102. Gas gun had a standard deviation of 27. Bolt gun had a standard deviation of 38. So, with all this information that I just compiled for you guys, here's what I have come to find. 
So barrel length, you know, having an 18 inch uh, gas gun versus an 18 inch bolt gun, it, it doesn't mean what people think it means. People think that just because you're shooting a gas gun means you're going to have less velocity. And this proved 100% that that's not true. There was only one case where the bolt gun had a better velocity than the gas gun. And as far as standard deviations, the standard deviations were kind of all over the place for, for both of these. Uh, I would say that they're almost 50-50 how the SDs work. Like, Because if you get one bad shot, I mean, that's how factory ammo is. You know, if you get... If you get one super low velocity or one super high, it's going to throw off these numbers. Uh, these were all five shots, and this was all money out of my pocket. So, you know, th this test is honest. <laughs> so I, I have nothing to gain from this test. But 18-inch gas gun versus 18-inch uh, bolt gun, I'm going to go gas gun. Hey, C494, out.